Hello Composers, Mike here. How do you play melodies, riffs and hooks on your MIDI keyboard without ever playing a wrong note? Let's find out right now. I will also give you a bonus tip in the end of this video. So let's say you have created a little beat like this. Just a drum beat, bass and some chords on piano and you want to play a melody, hook or riff on top of this. Well, the first thing you want to find out is the key and scale of the song. So you can go into each chord that you played in your sequence and select the notes and Logic will suggest the chord here, in this case B flat minor, A flat, F sharp it says here, but I know that this is G flat. It is the same notes as F sharp, but spelled you can't mix flats with sharps in a scale. So uh, I have set B flat minor as my scale here. And this is actually kind of a tricky scale to play because it's lots of black notes as you can see. Those will be tricky to play a melody on. Well, the rescue is the MIDI effect called Transposer. So you call it up here above the track, you have MIDI effects. And now I have, let's um, turn off this. Now I have this. So I can set it to a minor, let's see, natural minor. Then you set the root note after the scale, the key of the song, which is B flat. And here it is spelled A sharp. Remember, a sharp and B flat is the same note. B flat goes half step down, A sharp always go a half step above. So this note can be spelled A sharp or B flat. Now if I start to play something, uh, if I play a wrong note, it will be transposed to one of these keys in the scale. You can see they are lighter shade here. So if I play, let's say, this D, listen. Now I will play D. It's the same note as C sharp because it is transposed to the correct note in the scale. So I can now play. So now I can even solo a hook, riff or melody on top of this beat because I cannot play a wrong note outside of the scale using the MIDI effect transposer. So take a listen to this. Now here's my bonus tip for you. Let's say that you do not know the key and scale of your song, but you have created a bass line, a melody, or some chords in a progression that sounds good together. Well, in this case you can go into the editor for all these chords for example, and in most cases the key and scale is the first chord or the last chord which is the cadence of a sequence. So in this case, I select all these chords and it says this chord is a B flat minor. So let's simply test that scale by using the scale quantize option here. So B flat natural minor, let's see, like so. And in case any note moved, it means it is the wrong choice. If I remove this now, nothing changes. Back again, nothing changes. So this is a good choice. This means that this is the correct scale, B flat natural minor. If I use another key here, you can see that notes will be moving, which means that was not the correct choice for the scale. Please like, share and comment on this video to support my channel and I will see you in the next video my friends. Subscribe now and watch a lot more videos on composing music, producing music, sound design, Logic Pro X and much more. I'll see you in the next video, my friends.